Hey everybody, Mike Burner here, uh, over at the camp, just checked the tarp out, got kind of set back up a little bit, you can see big slabs of ice here and over there too, uh, the ice built up and then the snow built up on top of the ice and it tore the tarp up pretty good, I've got it back up for now, but uh, so we get a little closer to spring we'll have to be putting up a new tarp over here this year but uh i'm gonna get ready and brought my stanley cook cup with me i'm gonna get ready and make some instant coffee over here today and i'm gonna try out this new little stove ron t sawyer sent me uh it's from fab creations bruce over at fab creations uh redneck renegades actually doing a giveaway trying to get him up to, I forget, 150 or 200 subs. You have to go over and watch Redneck's uh, video. And uh, it's a really sturdy little stove. Um, I'm gonna try it out today. Boil some water on it and make some instant coffee. And I've been wanting to get out and try it out and do a little video on it, so. Um, quit smoking so I don't have a lighter with me. But what I do have over here, whoops, is uh, some of my homemade fire starters. They're cotton rounds soaked in Vaseline and then uh, double dip them in paraffin. And with my ferro rod there, it just fell on the ground. Um, we'll be able to get that lit up pretty easy. I've got some kindling here ready to go and some cedar and some other little pieces split up. That ought to get us a little fire going and We'll see how good this thing boils some water. So with that, I'm going to get the fire going and I'll bring you back when I've got her burning. All right. That didn't take nothing to get this little stove going. It draws good. Uh, it's a little rocket style stove. Collapses down. Made out of, I'm going to say probably 16th inch uh, steel. Very heavy duty. Uh, so far really impressed with it we'll see what it does with a good with some good heat in it as far as warping or anything like that as i'm planning on putting her through the run today um with that i'm gonna set you all up on the tripod and i'm gonna get some water on here and just see how long it takes to boil well i've had the water on there for a little bit probably about four minutes uh, got the stove. It's burning very well. It's drawing great um, With a small cook pot like I've got on there right now. It works really good the two little grates you got on top that sits on your goes across that you, for your pot stand um, Allows you to move your pot around on it where you can still load small stuff from the top small short pieces and then plus feed it from the side Um so far i'm really impressed with it a lot of these small stoves like this they just don't draw real well um, i've also got the ash pan on in the bottom so i'm burning it here on a stump i want to see how well that protects the stump and uh i put ice cold water in it i actually had ice in some of my water bottles that one water bottle i put in had ice in it yet so and I'm already starting to get small bubbles in the water, so it's heating up quickly. So far, my first impressions is all good. I would give this stove an A plus for sure. The only thing on it is, it's not something you're going to want to hike with. Um, it's foldable and collapsible, all folds flat, and uh, but it's pretty heavy. But uh, for something to use for car camping or at a camp like we got over here where we come over here on the four wheelers um be great um only thing i do need to do is make a pouch for it to put all my pieces in um he does have it drilled with a little bolt through it and a wing nut that holds it all together but um i still need to make a pouch for it after you're out and using get it all suited up and like i said it is steel so after you use it you're going to want to wash it good and, and uh, give it a coat of oil uh, just to keep it from rusting but uh probably this summer 
it'll probably live over here at the camp and actually get rusted. But for a small stove just to make coffee on, it looks like it's going to be a real winter. Um, I'll bring you back here in a little bit after I've burned it a little longer and see what if it's looking like it's warping any or anything like that. I'll bring you back. All right. Made a great cup of coffee. As you can see, I've got it filled up. It's got a heck of a bed of coals in there. Um, and best I can tell, the stump's not burning underneath where the ash pan sits on it. Uh, the only thing in particular that I might change that I could see. Hey, I don't know what happened there. Uh, shut my video, my camera off. The only thing I was getting ready to say is the only thing I might change is this hole right here. I might make that a little bit bigger to where I can get a stick through it. Because you can reach through here and uh, pick the stove up move it around. But uh, just to make it easy to dump would be this hole right here. Enlarge that. And uh, that way you can also take another stick and then just tip it. But you can also go through the side hole down here on the bottom and tip it as well. Um, which actually might be a better... I'm going to use it a few more times. That actually might be a better idea right there. But I've done dumped it out. Um, letting her cool down. Like I said, it didn't burn the stump at all underneath. Um, I'm really impressed with it. Don't look like there's been no warpage at all in it. So, with that, go over and check out Bruce from Fab Creations. I'll leave a link in the drop-down description in my t video here. Uh, go over and check out, check him out, and uh, if you're interested in one of these little stoves, uh, give him a holler. He'll sure make you one of them. And also go check out Redneck Renegade, which I'm sure everybody knows who I'm talking about there. I don't need to leave a link to his channel. Um, he's doing a giveaway for him, and uh, go ahead and sub to Fab Creations and get in on the giveaway, and you might win one. With that, that's all I got. Y'all have a good day.